okay guys now i would like to show you some more step okay in this one just like how to isolate uh, a part okay like uh if you're selecting something like this one okay uh, using node then it is just selecting all those things right uh, but it is only selecting those things which are similar means uh, this one is a this one is a weld which is used okay so when you're selecting this one all weld parts are selected right in a similar way if you select uh, this one knot and bolt then every knot and bolt will be selected and if you select this one okay you are not able to select this one solely so what do you need to do in that case you have to change this one to the PID region so now uh, when I am selecting this part okay now only this part is selected okay once select once you have selected this one click click the middle mouse button and then again click the middle mouse button and it will be reversed okay now we are going to see the triple uh, consider okay go to the geometry and go to the execution by selecting the triple cones only okay we got 71 of the total uh, triple cones now selecting every one of them CTRL A we can see it right over here so these triple cones are uh, so do we really need to remove these triple cones how do you know that so in order to decide uh, whether these triple cones is the, uh, is a defect or it is uh, necessary or or it needs some kind of uh, rectification so here um, you would see that okay, uh, for that ones in order to check that ones what I would say that uh, there are lots of other cat models attached to this one isn't it so it might be possible that other cat model which are attached to this one uh, have a connects uh, might have been uh, mistakenly made a connection with the uh, with these parts and have made uh, triple cones like for example what i mean is bring the neighbor parts okay if uh, if this one have a triple cones it means this one is connected to other surface too because uh, for example okay in order to uh, make this line I don't think that uh, you have you need a three surface right you just need two surface one is this one and one another is this but uh, however you are getting this triple cones it means there is a third surface which is connected to this line so which that third surface is in order to know that ones you have to bring the neighbor face so click on neighbor face here you are able to see it now this never face is visible in the similar way okay are you able to see this one this one okay which is uh, overlapped with another surface in a similar way uh, there might be triple cones formed due to the other surface over here everywhere so what do you do in this case look the third surface which are attached and formed uh, triple cones are not the part of this uh, this part right means it is uh, it is uh, the surface which is connected with this part is a is a surface of the another object or another part but uh, and it it must not connect each other by using triple cones right if you want to represent a connection between the two parts you have to use the yeffy representation but not a triple cones so you have to remove that triple cones or you have to create uh, create a disconnection between these two parts 
um, by removing the triple columns between them. But it is not always necessary because uh, when you have to uh, create a middle surface, you can directly create a middle surface uh, without caring about such triple columns. However, I am going to show you uh, how to remove such triple columns. Okay. So now let's solve this uh, triple cons problem okay the one way you can first identify what is going wrong is using face and the delete okay select surface near to the uh, uh, triple cons right okay like for example this body okay, after selecting this one you can assess what is going wrong Okay, the triple cones are connected to this one, but there are no any other surface. Okay, let's stop it. Okay. Okay, I got over here. You can see that uh, there is this surface which is going over here and making a connection with this surface and this surface. So there are three surfaces over there, and which is not a desired one. Right, so we can make a disconnection by using release cons and then release. After releasing, we can uh, manually connect this one. Okay. It seems to be a little bit intensive because we have to do it manually because if, if you use a topo in this case for example now you will end up with the three triple cones again right so don't do that once just manually paste it okay now the problem is resolved over here So this is one way to resolve the problems and this is one of the problems, right? one of the many. Now we are going to see another type of problem. Now we are going to see another types of triple cones here. Okay. In this one, we are going to check this seat. Okay. Now we are going to check the triple cones. Execute. Okay, now select every one of them. There is huge amount of triple cones. Actually, 1189. But we are going to focus our attention over here. So, uh, isolate this one. Okay, one thing is that and so while isolating, we are uh, not uh, we are not able to select uh, these two surfaces and that is because these two surfaces are not the part of uh, this body right so that is why uh, they are not selected as we are selecting the part uh, part region and this one is not the part of part region that's why it is uh, not selected here despite we are not able to see the surface Right, um, because those surfaces were not a part of this one. That's why now uh, we are seeing the triple cones over here. So, so first thing that we are going to do is to release all these triple cones. After releasing these triple cones, we are going to add new surface over there, and those previous surface will be deleted. Okay, so releasing the cones. it is released now means this part or these lines are released from those parts which are not visible over here this one okay those are the surface which were over here is now isolated from this one okay 
now we are going to add new this over here using filter method okay you can use planner too but if uh, if one doesn't work try another now it is showing and uh, what's it's called an overview so if you want a surface like this one okay this is what you want then you can press ok otherwise press alternative but this is what i want so i pressed ok over here similarly you can do for this one too okay we haven't released one of the surface over here we are going to release this one it's called okay now after releasing cones we are going to add new surface okay this is what we want over here so we are going to accept it that's okay so this is how we can solve the triple cones problem okay so first identify the triple cones how it is arranged and and then after only tackle with that right if you uh madly or blindly start to delete some of the surface then you might end up uh, distorting the cad model okay mistake and i hope that you are you are now well uh, well known with uh, with this equipment and you can be able to solve your problem if you are not able to solve the triple cones problem and you still think that you need some things to know about this one or more problem to uh, to be uh, shown then just comment below so that uh, i will be aware about what types of problem you are facing and or uh, do i really need to make much more video on this one or not.